The three-word statement you see here has nothing to do with the weather, but everything to do with general manager of the New York Islanders, Gart Snow. In mid-February, an overnight campaign spawned the birth of these billboards standing just one block away from Brooklyn's Barclays Center, home of the New York Islanders. Both are identical and read, Snow Must Go, with the inscription, paid for by Long Island hockey fans. Both billboards stand just a couple blocks away from the Barclays Center, where fans and management have taken notice to them. But it was in Chelsea, not Brooklyn, at Offside Tavern where James Duffy, founder of the billboard movement, and his friend Tom went through the inception of the billboard campaign and why it's a culmination of the frustration of Islanders fans. And I remember waking up, it was after the Islanders lost at home to Columbus, and uh, people were mad on Twitter. People were very angry. It was that morning he knew what he was going to do. I said, what about a billboard? It's going to be 3000 for a month-long billboard right by Barclays. What if we do that? Others quickly got in on the fun and had plenty to say about the movement and their frustration towards general manager Gart Snow. Shake it up a bit. I feel like the players and just the team as a whole is too comfortable with who they have in now. And they're not going to change as much if you promote someone from within. Like we saw Doug Waite. Doug Waite became the coach. They had a good little stretch. Almost made the playoffs. Almost is a key word because that's every year they almost make the playoffs. And it was good to see that they responded to change. But let's see someone from outside, someone yeah. that's been a proven winner, someone that knows they're good at their job, someone that's good as a GM, and let's give them a new a change of pace. It's starting to go out to uh, everybody else that we just can't live with this anymore. It's, it's painful. You know, like we said, he's only won one playoff series in 12 years. It's just not acceptable. You know, not I, think, good I think the Islanders have been patient with him, and I, I respect that. I, I, you know, I like teams that take their time with their GMs, but eventually it's got to be like, it's, results. A, it's, it's results. That's what it's results about. You know, it's a results business. He's not giving the results. you got to get someone else. He hasn't done enough, whether it be a trade deadline, whether it be free agency. I, I don't think he does a good job selling this organization to players that he could sign. Or players, or I don't think he delves deep enough into the, the trade deadline. I don't think he looks at players that he, he could acquire. I, I just don't think he does enough. I don't. I did 12 years now. It's over. It's over a decade, and we have what one playoff series win? Enough is enough. I mean, we're a New York team. Uh, enough. With Islander captain John Tavares having yet to sign a contract extension with the Islanders, one fan has a radical idea for change. Garcia, if we gotta lose him because we lose Tavares, I'm willing to clear the slate and then move forward from there. Owners John Ledecky and Scott Malkin have yet to acknowledge the billboards in any fashion. However, with the buzz generated around the NHL, the message hasn't gone unnoticed. The Islanders' season ends on April 7th, and with that, hopefully comes the conclusion fans are looking for. Matt DiGiacomo, William Patterson University TV, New Jersey.